In this video tech tip, I'll be going over the process for creating an AutoCAD command macro from an existing script file. This tech tip follows up on a recent blog post covering the same topic, but can be applied to more complex scripts using the same process. The first step is to have a script file prepared. The content of a working script file can be used as is when creating a command macro definition in AutoCAD. For this example, I'll refer back to the purge zero script that repeats the purge command four times and selects a different option in each instance. In addition to the working script file, we'll also need an image that will be used as the icon for the new custom command. Once we have these in order, it's time to create the macro in AutoCAD. To create a command macro in AutoCAD, use the CUI command. In the CUI dialog box, click Create New Command. In the New Command section, select the images for the small icons and large icons. The same image can be used for both. With the icon selected, enter a name for the command and a description. Once the name and description have been provided, enter the script definition into the macro long string editor. Open up your script file and copy the content out of the script. Open the long string editor and paste that directly into the dialog box. Add an extra caret c caret c at the end to cancel out of the command process once it's complete. Click apply and OK to exit. The last step is to add our new custom command macro to a tool palette so we can use it more quickly. In this case, I've created a custom tab on my tool palettes in AutoCAD already. A right click lets me customize the commands that are available on this new tab in the tool palette. Within the command user interface dialog box, I can search for my new command using the command list search. Drag and drop my new P0 command into the tool palettes. Click apply and OK. My new command is now available from the tool palette and ready to go anytime I need it. With a single click, I can run my new purge zero command and see that I have the results reported to me in my command line. I hope this tech tip provided you with a useful guide for creating a custom command macro from an AutoCAD script. For more information, blogs, and tech tips, visit our website at imagineit.com. Thanks for watching.